What is going on, Garlotta Gang? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a great day. Wanted to go and bring you guys this video. Um, it's something a little bit different that I haven't done on my channel. And uh, I think that it would be actually something pretty fun. I've never seen it on YouTube. So I thought I might as well go and show you guys what are some of my favorite scooter parts that I have ever ridden? I have ridden a lot of scooter parts in my day. Um, I was going to go over to Scooter Zone today, but... Uh, and if you guys like the content, make sure to go in like the video. So we're going to go and bring up my laptop because this is where I have all of my Facebook, my Instagram, all of that good stuff that I can go and show you guys my favorite scooter parts that I can go and show you guys. Okay, so now we are here. We're going to be going and recording on to what has been my favorite scooter parts that I've ever ridden. Um, let's go over to my Facebook page. I've ever ridden. Um, let's go over to my Facebook page because this is where all my best scooter content is. When I first got my Facebook, this is all I did was upload a cool po profile pictures and really cool nothing it wasn't really cool at all so we're gonna get into the first photo of what was my first scooter that i had on here and that is going to be my nv nv deck we have the nv deck proto ses pro red bars scorcher fork and darker wheels this was one of my first scooters now as you guys can tell in this picture I look like your boy was busting out a quick little front bry off the curb. Didn't get anywhere close. That was before I could even double whip. So, and that was still actually landing a switch at this point. So, you know, you had to go and fake it until you make it. You know. <laughs> Next one. This one is one of my favorite setups that I've ever had. So, as you guys can tell, wasn't very good at taking pictures. So on here I have the biggest part which I loved, which was this NV AOS V2 deck. This was the first deck that I rode on my scooter that helped me progress so much. So if you guys can find an AOS V2 and if you guys are learning in anything, highly recommend getting the deck. It's one of the best decks I've ever ridden. Uh, Scorcher Fork once again. I rank, I rank the AOS V2 definitely a 10 out of 10. Four decks. All right, same thing, different scooter. Same scooter, different parts. Raymond Warner, Scooter Zone Bars, Proto SES, but at this point I was getting a little bit better. Uh, I could front bry actually off the curb now. 10 out of 10. And now this brings me to my second, my third deck, my third, third deck that I ever had. And that was the Fasten Fasten deck. This deck was absolutely amazing. It was Cold Forge. It was made out of 70, 75 aluminum, which was a stronger, more dense aluminum, and I absolutely loved it. I rate this deck out of 1 to 10. I would rank this about a 7. Uh, I, the reason why I wasn't too fond of it was because uh, I was a bigger guy. I ended up breaking it kind of fast. Then we're switching it up because I ended up breaking that one too. NV AOS V2 deck, Ryan Up Church. It was 21 long, which was weird for back in the day. Liked this scooter deck. I kind of read this one like a five. Uh, it just wasn't my personal taste. Here it is. Here it is. So here is my one of my favorite scooters that I ever had. Now this was the Phoenix Session deck with Raymond Warner HIC Scooter Zone bars with an epic zero offset fork with proto wheels. Absolutely beautiful scooter, 10 out of 10. One of my best setups I've ever had for back in the day. And now, this is before titanium bars was the thing. 10 out of 10 scooter. Okay, a little bar spin over. Now that was like an eight and a half foot quarter pipe. From Bry on the hip. Little kicky to Manny. Kicky down, super nice, super. Okay, so now we're getting into the next phase of my scooters because I rode that scooter the whole entire time I was in Oregon. Beautiful NV AOS V3 Max Peters signature deck. One of my favorite decks clips on this scooter that I had. A little backflip, didn't do a backflip for probably about a year. Went to the skate park, landed it first try into the next one. A little flip on the hip. That was my first ever flip on a hip. Very proud of myself. So this next one, it was a scooter that I did not ride very long. My boy Austin Quince. My, now my boy Austin Quince, he actually went and gave me this Mad Gear deck when he was on Mad Gear. And this was actually a prototype MFX deck. I wasn't too hyped with it. Um, it just felt a little different for me. 
Finger whip off. Whip rewind. Trip whip off. Whip to bar. Sketch. Oh my gosh, that was sketch. Hold. Four out of ten. Oh, okay. This one's the next one. So this one was a um, Envy Jesse Akita signature deck. It was it was cool. Had two bangles, I think, at 82.5 versus an 83. Now this is what I'm talking about when I started getting transitioned over into something different and becoming more comfortable. Finding out what kind of helped me be cleaner. And going back from 83 to 82.5 wasn't my forte. I was not a big fan of it. Um, this was the Mad Gear Team Edition deck. It was a little bit small, but it was great because I could still do some tricks with it. And that's why I ended up liking it so much. Here's a quick little triple whip flat for you guys. So now I am a no longer single and I have a new deck. This was the Envy AOS V4 Charles Padel deck. Five inches wide, 84 degree head to mingle. So now I'm kind of getting back into that little sketchy part where I don't really like 84. I knew I didn't like 84, but I wanted to give out this deck a try. So I did. So at this point, I'm kind of like, I have a girlfriend, so I'm really trying to impress her, so I do some cool tricks, and so this is them right now. Boosted Flare on that, that, that thing is so sketchy. I can't believe I did that. Quick little double heel and a backy. Triple whip over the A-frame. Opposite bright flip from my natural bright flip, which is opposite so this was a normal bright flip but opposite side like i said i was not too big of a fan we're getting into the beginning stages of youtube between me and raymond warner now i had my raymond warner nb deck with his raymond warner nb deck this was actually a first game of scoot that we actually ended up filming with my epic rewind bars front bry over the hip over the A-frame. Whip front scoot, first ever whip front scoot I ever did. It was right there. Whip rewind kickless. <gasps> oh, oh my gosh. This one. Now this scooter right here was one of the best ones that I've ever ridden. This has the Chama wheels of first generation. So they were the mint ones with a pandemonium deck, the lightest deck. And this was my first ever pair of titanium bars on here. Now, these were the best titanium bars, but they were a little bit too thin, so they ended up breaking, so we ended up thickening them up. That's why Epic Rewind, that's why Epic Titanium Bars are the best titanium bars you could get, because they use a thicker titanium. Don't think they still make them. This was one of my first decks that I rode um, that was a little bit wider. 21 inches long, 83 degree head tube angle, and 4.8 inches wide. So this was my first one that I actually found that I actually loved. Uh, beautiful deck. Remember how I was talking to you guys about the AOS V2? So there, now that deck had a couple of flaws. One of those flaws was it was not very wide um, and I could never find a deck that felt close to the same until I was on Fusion. And the deck that resembled the AOS V2 the most and I highly recommend the deck that I recommend the most if you guys are looking for a good scooter Z350 the Fusion Z350 I love this scooter so I think I'm gonna wrap it up here um, I had a lot of great times with all the scooter decks that I had so to sum this up um, from my ranking of the scooter decks that I've ridden uh, it goes Fusion Z350 AOS V2, Phoenix Session deck, District HT deck. Those were some of the greatest decks that I've ever ridden and I could not be more grateful than ever for my sponsor, Scooter Zone. Sorry I haven't been riding as many scooters as possible. Um, I have been just, you know, grinding away, trying to sell some cars. And that brings me to the end of this video. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys want to see more videos like this, then of course, let me know down in the comments down below. I'm still trying to figure out what to do with this whole YouTube channel. Um, I And I want to go and apologize to you guys because I've been so rude because I have not been giving you guys the content like you guys deserve. Uh, but if you guys want to see more content, make sure to go and let me know down in the comments down below what you guys want to see next. All right, I hope you guys have a great day. Peace out, Garlotta gang.